In this tutorial, we're going to explain first of all how to import the package and make it work with Oculus Quest or Rift or any other Oculus device. The first thing you have to do is search for our package, that is the VR keyboard for Oculus, and you will see that you have a link here for the Oculus integration package. You will have to download and open this in Unity, and once you have done that, you will see that you have a folder called Oculus and one that is called Resources. So these two folders are uh, a consequence of importing that package. The next thing you can do is download our, our package and this will generate a new folder that is called the Quest Keyboard. In this folders you will see that you have three different uh, four different scenes one that is the menu scene so uh, the first thing you have to do is to get all these four scenes and drag them to the build settings the next uh, step you have to follow is go to the XR settings and select virtual reality supported and import the oculus here. If you have an error uh, regarding the graphics API, you will need to delete the Vulkan graphics and leave only the OpenGL uh, S3. Now we, that we have seen the importing process of the asset, let's check what you can uh, find in the different scenes. The first one is only a menu scene that will allow the user to move from the first, second or third scene. In the first scene, what you have here is a dynamic uh, keyboard with two raycasts. So if you hit play, you will see how it works. You will be able to um, move the cursor, the custom hand, sorry. So you can find the custom hands here and you can move them and this will uh, simulate the movement in VR. So for example, whenever your left, left or right hand is placed over a, a char character, you will be able to write different uh, letters in, in, the, in the message box. The next scene that is the physical keyboard scene has implemented the rigid bodies for the different keys in the keyboard so if you hit play you will see now that each of these uh, keys are as you can see rigid bodies can be moved uh, in the editor and uh, you can test them uh, independently without using the hands uh, in the editor mode. Later on we'll see the structure of each of the game objects, but now let's finish with the tablet scene. The tablet scene contains, as you can see here, a model of a tablet with a keyboard that is simulating the Samsung uh, style uh, keyboard. And uh, whenever we get the custom hands in the editor mode, what usually happens is that the, the custom hands are not seen. Are, are there, its renders are deactivated, so you have to go here and um, activate them manually. Okay, so you will see now the hands here. And uh, you can move the hand up and forward. And in this case, by pressing R, R you are able to hold on of the, uh, of the tablet and move it around. So this is uh, a way of debugging. If you want to do it on your or PC without using the... Um, the Quest or the Rift, but it's easier if you do it directly on the device. And these buttons here 
are going to give um, a specific order to the scripts in function of the contact with the other hand. So for example now we're going to find the left hand we're going to make it also visible and now we're going to move it towards the screen of the tablet and you will see how we are able to write something on the tablet okay so you can see now that we're writing things on the tablet by pressing uh, the different buttons so this is how it works and, and now we're going to check a little bit the different uh, structure of the prefabs that we have so we have the cursors that are the main objects that are used um, in the uh, keyboard raycaster multiple raycaster sorry uh, scene then we have the keys the keys as you can see here are just a way of uh, saving the information of the um, the structure of the the keys that are going to be pressed by the user then we have the keyboard that is the one that is used for the table the tablet then we have the uh, controller um, OVR controller custom with custom hands because we have added here the left and the right hand inside the different anchors uh, then we have the physic uh, key that uh, as you can see here is mm, is going to be a rigid body here you can see it we have a rigid body and then we have some spring joints that are joining the uh, case and the button itself and this will uh, allow to generate that um, uh, movement whenever we press the button then we have the pointer that is also used for the ray casting and then we have the table and the ta tablet which are the final game objects that are used in the third scene Regarding the scripts, as you can see here, we have separated the scripts in the different uh, folders that have a relation to the different scenes. So, for example, for the multiple scene, these are the scripts that are used. For the physical keyboard, these are the uh, scripts that are used. And for the tablet scene, these are the scripts that are used. And finally, we have added also the grabbing uh, scripts that are used uh, in, the, in the last scene here. Uh, in order to um, be able to pick up the tablet and throw it whenever the user wants. So this is pretty much it regarding the this package and this tutorial. I hope you consider downloading it and if you have any questions please remember that you can test the package here in the test app Oculus Quest. You, you can download the, AP, the APK and test it in your device using SideQuest Sideload and uh, otherwise you can write us directly to michael.soler.baby uh, at gmail.com for further questions thanks very much for watching and i hope you consider downloading this package